going to be taking the derivative of y equals 1 over the square root of x via the limit. Because that's what I like to do for fun. Alright. Prime of x, which has got to be 1 over the square root of x plus 8, and then 1 minus the square root of x over 8. Now this is different from the square root of x, and that now we have the nasty fraction. So how do we get rid of them? Well, what we have to do is we're going to multiply these by the square root of x plus 8 times the square root of x. So that these little square roots at the bottom will be cancelled out. However, as a side effect of this, we will also have to add that to the bottom. Multiplying these two gives us the root of x. Same with ditto for this, but it will instead give us the square root of x plus 8. This is divided by 8 times what we just saw. this so that we get a difference of square. If you're not aware, a minus b times a plus b gives us a squared minus b squared. So we're going to try that strategy to get rid of the square root. So we're going to multiply this by, this is a minus b, so logically we have to have a plus b. Look at this red lighting. And all red writing, signing in the sunlight. Oh jeez, really am a poet, huh? Plus square root of x plus eight. And now we are almost done because this gets us a squared x minus b squared x plus eight. And since we like to spread negativity, we get x minus x minus 8 over 8 times all of this. Don't worry, we'll get to the jumble that's under here later. Alright, so since we ran out of space, let's erase the root of x plus 8 times x. And then, we're going to multiply this, the square root of x plus 8 times the square root of x, by the square root of x plus 8, which gives us the square root of x plus 8 times the square root of x. Now, we're going to cancel this and that out, which gives us negative 1 on the top. So now, we can set h to 0. Because setting h to 0 won't make the equation rational anymore. So we can get rid of that limit because now we get negative 1 over x times the square root of x. This is set to 0. Plus x times the square root of x. That is set to 0. So that means that f prime of x, which is our derivative, is equal to negative 1 over 2x times the square root of x is really x to the 3 halves. So, that means that our derivative is negative 1 over 2 times x to the negative 3 halves. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next